Yo, how's it going everybody and welcome back to this Material UI course, it's been a while. In today's video we're going to be talking about how to work with the rating system in this library. Now I'm going to show you guys something that you've never seen any other person teach here on YouTube and that's how we're going to be using custom icons for our rating system. This is the example that I have right here. I did not make these icons, I'm going to be fully honest with you. I got them from a website called Icons8. The link to their attributes is in the description down below. But this is really cool is I can actually go between different ratings and it shows a different face of Naruto. If it's not rated, it shows an empty face. But if you are rating it, you show a colored face like so. And we can select it as well. After that, we have a basic 10 star rating system below that. And without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty then. So I've opened up the documentation for the rating component and we're going to quickly run over this just so we have a pretty good understanding of how to work with this before we do get our hands dirty. So ratings are really simple. According to Material UI, ratings provide insights regarding others' opinions and experiences and can allow the user to submit a rating of their own. So if we scroll down below, we'll see a few examples of the basic rating system. They have controlled, read only, disabled, and no rating given. The controlled rating system, all it does is that it can control all the other ones if you want it and we can actually select any sort of rating that we want. After that, the read only, it does not allow us to be able to edit uh, a rating. It's only a read, so we can't select any of them. After that, we have the disabled. It's sort of like read only, but it's grayed out. After that, we have no rating given, so no matter what, you cannot select a rating. It'll always stay at zero. And if you look right below that, we will see that it's really simple to use. All you would have to do is import rating give it a name, a value, and an on change. So if you wanted to change the actual state of the rating, you can just do it like that. And after that, we can see that the different states, so we have name, read only, disabled, and no value isn't a state per se. It's, um, you can just do value is equal to null, so it'll always stay as no value at that point. After that, we have rating precision. Now let's say we're absolute comedians and uh, we wanted to test our comedic skills here. What we could do is we can actually do 10 stars and then we can define a specific precision we wanted and because we are comedians uh, we can just do 6.9 and it will show exactly 6.9 stars. And this is how they use it. We can give it a default value that's equal to the initial value so initially this is equal to 2.5 stars but if you want a 6.9 we just have to type in your 6.9. After that we have the hover feedback so we can actually hover on certain values and on, let's say at two stars, we can show a certain um, hover value right here. If we're on five stars, it'll show excellent plus, which is really cool. And if we scroll lower, we will see our different sizes that we have available to us. So by default, it'll always be medium. So we don't, if we wanted to do a medium rating uh, group, we would have to define nothing. But if we wanted a size of small or large, we'd have to use a size prop and define which one. After that, we have the customization. This is actually what we're going to be implementing into our app today and using this and working with it. And after that, we scroll to the very bottom. We can see our API right here. Now, I know I skipped over a whole bunch of stuff right here, but this is not as important as the main concepts of how to work with a rating component. Uh, but if we go into the rating API, we can see exactly how to import it. All you have to do is import rating from material UI or do it like that. After that, we can do our component name, um, what kind of props we have available to us. There's a few of them. Uh, well, there's a lot of them, actually. And then after that, we have the CSS. So if we want to target a certain element in our um, rating system, we can do it with this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and actually work with this component and get our hands filthy. Alrighty then. So I've opened up my VS Code editor. And instead of here, the first thing that we have to do is we got to create our route for our rating system. So inside of my components folder, I'm gonna create a new file and I'll call it rating.js. What is HS? That's not even a thing. JS, there we go. And inside of there, just so we have some basic content, what I'll do is I'll just copy whatever we have inside of our, whoops, not in there, whatever we have inside of our chips file, just so we have some basic content. And we'll change the name of chips example and we'll call it uh, rating example. Like so and within our app bar I'll add another parameter so I'll just do rating and within my app.js file is where we have to import our actual route so here I'll call it rating and so we change this too so now it's rating example imported and now if we go back into our app 
we should see rating right there and it shows our rating chips. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and actually work with this component. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear out all this information within my div tag right here and I'll get rid of all of these functions and we'll clear out this as well. And within our div, what I'll do is I'll import rating from a material UI like so. And what we'll do is we'll give it a default value of let's say two and we won't give it any other values. So right now what we will see is we will see a total of five stars and a default value of two, which is not appearing. Let's see what's happening. Default checked, oops, should be default value. There we go. And now if you look at it, it should look at, uh, we should see two, there we go, perfect. Alrighty, so now since we are comedic geniuses of the 21st century, what we have to do is we will set a max of 10. So we'll have a maximum of 10 stars showing and we'll do precision. I will set the precision to be about 0.1 as precise as possible. And now here's where the comedy comes in. Our default value is gonna be 6.9. And now if we go back into our app, we will see 10 stars and it's very difficult to see, but let me zoom in. We will see 6.9 stars. We have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, six point nine. You can see that little gray spot right there. I can't zoom in any further, but it's it's right there though. Alrighty, so now you guys might be wondering is how do we use a custom icon like we saw in the beginning of this tutorial? Well, let's go ahead and talk about how to do that. So first and foremost, you would need an SVG file for this to work. There are other ways to do it, but the best way I found is to just use an SVG. The quality doesn't get reduced or anything, so that's that's perfect for us. So the images that I went and chose were the those two Naruto images in the beginning, and I imported them into my assets folder right here as SVG files. So this one is the blank one without any coloration, and this one has some coloration. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna convert these SVGs into React components, basically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy one of them right here and going back to my Google Chrome, I've opened something called SVGR Playground. I've already added the link to this in the description down below. It's really useful to convert uh, SVGs into a React component. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is on my left side, I'm gonna import, I'm gonna paste my um, SVG input and output is what we have right here, our SVG convert into a uh, component. And after that, I'm gonna go back into my rating.js file and right underneath my function, what we'll do is we'll do const colored Naruto icon is equal to, we'll give it a prop, oops, let's do this prop, arrow function, and we'll do return. And instead of the return, this is where we'll paste our code. So now we have our, um, our colored Naruto example. Let's see what it's yelling at us about. It is saying that it is used, but never assigned. Props is not defined. Let's see here. Oh, it's props, I said prop. There we go. Alrighty. Now let's go ahead and actually add our basic Naruto icons. We'll do const Naruto icon. We'll do props, error function, and we'll do return. And same thing, I'm gonna open up my basic Naruto face right here. I'm gonna go back into my converter. I'll paste it into the input. And in the output, we have exactly what we want. Going back into my app, I'll paste it right into here. And that should be about it. Let's see why this is yelling at us for. So saying that path, that should be fine. All right, so now the way that we would use this is really simple. All we have to do is we would use the exact same rating tag. So we'll just do rating. And inside of there, we can define our basic icon that's filled in and our uh, empty icon. So let's say our filled in icon will give it the colored Naruto icon. And if it's empty, so if nobody, if the rating is incomplete, we'll just do the it was Naruto icon. There we go. 
and we'll give it some more values. I'll just do default, default value, and we'll give it, let's say, 2, and we'll give it a precision of 0 0.5. There we go. And now if we look it into our app, we will see that <gasps> we have our icons, well, our custom icons. Alrighty, that concludes this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.